What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Max Putting Your Builds. So, this evening's project on the OBS is going to be that. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun at all. We're going to get both of the iron harnesses, hopefully, snipped back into the engine bay. Uh, I'm going to run through the harnesses one more time. Uh, double check everything that's still labeled. I've kept all the flags on there. Because I'm sure there's going to be some things that I know I'm not going to need that I kept on there just in case type situation. So I'm going to run through the harnesses one more time. Check and see what I got. And then start snaking it back into the engine bay. This isn't going to be fun. Okay guys, so if you can remember, when reverse order, we ended over here, taking it out of the firewall. Got everything unsnipped, we brought it back behind the old 350, came back around, came back under the brake booster and that. We have the fuse box that goes in this location, we brought it all out this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do reverse order. I'm going to try and start snaking everything back behind the brake booster, get as much as I can down here in this cubby hole by the steering shaft, have it all there, get my fuse box and stuff situated here, and then start pulling everything up and over that I need out of that OBS harness, and then it's going to go in to the firewall this way. Uh, there's not a whole lot on that OBS harness that we need. Um, so hopefully this shouldn't be too painful. All right, guys. So here's what we've got. We have the OBS fuse box, okay? It's back in place. I've got it connected back to the firewall there. I've got those couple connections underneath the brake booster tidied up there, okay? These are my extra flags for AC and stuff like that. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use or do with yet because I'm gonna fight AC at a later date. These come back up. This is what ties into the OBS harness here. Here's ABS plugs that the former owner taped up, which really scares me. And this goes to the EVAP can. Okay. Uh, PCM's going here. The other fuse box for the LS swap's probably going to go up here somewhere. Back here. We'll, we'll figure that out. Then I've got the original harness running back down underneath the brake booster here. And now I've got it tucked in behind the motor. And I'm thinning the transmission stuff down the tunnel, so that way my park reverse neutral drive indicator, stuff like that, reverse lights, all that fun stuff works. It's going down there. I'll hook up my ground and my oil pressure switch and stuff while I'm back there. This leg coming up here 
Uh, it's got another ground, but the majority of all of this stuff over here, this is all like AC stuff, because remember that compressor was sitting right here. So I'm probably just going to bring it back down and tape it down in there, just, you know, secure it for now, because AC is going to be a, a fight for another day. Then I have the other leg coming back up. I put it back inside the firewall, reattached it, because I know that's where that one goes, okay? Just like this uh, this dryer plug, I know that's where it goes. It's labeled. Let's go in there. My hood light, it was up here. I'm going to start plugging these things in, tightening them down, so I can try and start reshaping this harness, this OBS harness, where it needs to go. And then I like this one right here. I looked over here and I was like, man, what's this, what's this plug for? Well, it says airbox. So this went in to the 98, uh, probably like the mass air or something like that is what this was. So now I can go back, get down here towards the bottom, snip this thing off, get rid of it. Cause I know I don't need this now. Probably whenever I was cleaning it up, thinning it earlier, all I saw in here was air box, and obviously I didn't know what exactly it was. So I left it on there to be safe. But now that I have this harness laid back out, kind of where it goes, I'm going to start plugging stuff in, figuring out where stuff goes, things like that. Let's say air box that now I can figure out because that 98 air box sits right here. Okay, so that's obviously something on the motor side that read the air pressure, the air temperature or something. Boom, I can get rid of it. So I'm going to keep plugging away on this, get this tidied up some. I got to get underneath there, get the uh, transmission wires and stuff cleaned up and ran correctly, and we'll keep after it. Uh, so, can anybody see what I did wrong? Yep, totally didn't see it. Had all the wiring harness all snaked through here, started putting everything in. This is the retainer for the wiring harness. Keeps it up off of the steering shaft, keeps it up out of the exhaust. Totally missed that. So, everything's gotta come back out. Fuse box and everything's gotta come back out. All gotta get pulled back in. All gotta get pulled back out. And up and over the retainer for the wiring harness. Joy. All right, guys. Got it back up there. I've uh, been working on it a little more off camera. Uh, this is all of the AC wires here. I started delooming this because the temp sensor used to go right here on the water neck on the 350. Okay. Well, it's not going to reach all the way over to that service port on the head over here that I'm going to tap into. So what I'm going to do is I'm deluming it. I'm going to take it, delume it back all the way to the main harness back here. And then what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to extend these wires instead of deluming all this. I'm going to just extend these wires, bring it back down attach it inside the main wire loom, tuck it inside there, bring it all the way back down to where it'll reach to that service port on the back of the passenger head. But I'll tell you what, that reorganizing, I hate to say it, that was actually a little bit of a blessing having to pull it all back out because then I had an idea where everything needed to go and I was able to straighten it back out, got the trans snuck in, I got the long tail that comes back over, that goes back into the firewall, the dryer, all that fun stuff, all those, all that wiring, that all cleaned up quite nicely, a little better than what it was actually the first time I did it. So, um, actually worked out in my favor. Uh, the main ground, what I did was I actually tucked it, uh, instead of coming back down on the side and coming down attaching to the block somewhere down here. Uh, to keep it away from the exhaust manifold or the header, which I want to end up using, I actually brought it back up here, tucked it up inside of the intake, and just tied it in down here on top of the head, which is, a little, is plenty good of a ground. So, and once that Vortec cover is on here, that's going to cover going to cover that up, 
and uh, I'm not exposing that wire to, you know, buku heat, you know what I'm saying? So this is actually working out a little bit in my favor. I'm taking my time. I'm not going to lie to you. I have been out here for about an hour and a half, maybe even a little more, slowly putting it together, make sure everything's plugged in. Got the oil pressure plugged in in the back. Don't know if you can see it. There it is. And like I said, I've got a few extra plugs and stuff for the distributor and different things. Uh, I think I can tie into my tax signal and stuff there for the dash. So I'm, I'm leaving all those be for the time being. All these AC lines, I'm going to wrap all these back up. And now that I got them de-loomed, uh, I'm going to wrap them up nice and good. Here's another ground I got to attach. I'll probably stick it on the back of the block or something. Uh, but like I said, that temp sensor, just wanted to jump in here quick. That temp sensor, uh, you can run the three wire I've heard back down here to like a 98 LS one, um, Camaro or something, but I'm just going to extend the wires over. I only need shoot. I don't know, eight inches, 10 inches on those wires, something like that, just to swing them back over to that side. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to get that done. I'm going to get, uh, those few AC wires cleaned up and stuff. And then, then the OBS harness is on guys. All right, guys, original OBS harness is in, uh, this wire, this was originally going to the alternator. So that's going to go down here to, uh, probably to the positive battery post or something. Uh, unwrap the ABS plugs, put them back in. That's an original owner type thing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this module's bad or what. I don't know. That may be going away and just getting a proportioning valve or something. I don't know, but we've got our link to our LS harness sitting up here for right now. Comes down here, comes up and around the back of the motor, goes down towards the transmission, plugged into the neutral safety switch and such. And then goes back around to the other side. And you can see I've still got a few plugs and stuff back here that are loose. Like I said, those were tack and different things, or the uh, distributor and different things. I'm leaving those lie right now. Here is that uh, wire that I extended for the temp sender, which will be going right down here on this, oh, get my fingers out of the way. <laughs> right down here on this uh, service port on this head. We're gonna get a little adapterage going on. Man, I keep getting my fingers in the way. Sorry, guys. Uh, then the last leg of it comes up here, underneath, hood light, in towards the cab, towards all your uh, controls, AC controls, and all that fun stuff. It's gonna get hooked up in there. Like I said, I rerouted that one wire, that one ground. It said come down here on the block and stuff. I came up, attached it to the head, snuck it all down inside there, nice and clean. But there's the OBS harness. Not too bad. I think it came out pretty clean. You really can't see it for the most part. It's just kind of tucked in there and there's tons of room back there. So now we just got to work on that one.
there it is guys it took about uh, three three and a half hours to get everything tucked in nice and orderly and where it goes and all that fun stuff but we've got the LS harness we've got the OBS harness going up if you're doing an LS swap and you keep the original harness especially like a truck harness start at like the big Y I guess you could say there's a nut drop it on there bolt it down then you could see kind of where everything kind of needs to go we got everything wired up we got all the coil packs all the fuel injectors uh, man cam sensor and the grounds on the block who baby that was that was hard that wasn't easy that took every inch of my fingers uh, but man it's it's all here here's my math sitting over here everything's wired up good to go these are the AC plugs probably just gonna tape them up for now I don't know what's gonna happen with those uh, O2 running down that way everything else is buttoned up so now all we have to do is I have to try and figure out get ready for this nightmare boom <laughs> don't let it scare you it's not that bad it's really not that bad so I'm gonna come back in I'm gonna throw a little bit of loom and stuff on here to help keep everything together a little few reams of tape and stuff tighten everything up uh, there's tons of room underneath this PCM mount right here so I'll be able to run this entire leg of the fuse block underneath where the PCM goes I'll be able to run all that underneath here so all that's going to be hidden and then the fuse block will be back here as well as our connectors to join the two harnesses together I think I can run this one back this way I can run this one back around with these and they'll join in the middle and all this is going to be hidden where this PCM is okay so don't let that scare you too bad and a lot of these are loose these are still like AC stuff and that I'm not still quite sure what I'm going to do with so I'm probably just going to wrap them up tight put some wire loom on them tape them just to clean them up and get them out of the way all this right here all this is getting wire loomed and stuff but I'm keeping this all exposed for the time being until I fire this thing up, drive it, and make sure everything runs good in case the TCC brake switch, uh, yep, there it is right there, in case that's not working correctly. I don't have to tear everything apart to get to it. So all this is kind of is going to stay a little crazy for a little bit, but if you just ignore that, looks good. Looks how it's supposed to put the old Vortec cover on and man all you're gonna see is just that and that that's all you're gonna see so I mean everything's still working how it's supposed to and everything's good to go so that is sticking both wiring harnesses on the OBS swap all right guys so it's not completely done we still got a little bit of housekeeping over here and uh, I got a few, I got like the uh, what, crank sensor and a couple things down bottom I got to do. But, you know, you guys can't see a whole lot going on down there anyway. So, put the crank sensor in, put the starter in. Manifolds and crank it up. See what happens. It's getting close. It's getting real close to see if this baby's going to turn over. I got faith. I got faith. LT1Swap.com. I got faith in you. I got faith in your wiring diagrams. So... Like I said, it took about three hours, and that was me really trying to take my time. Anything that needed retaped or cleaned up or whatever, you know, I tried to do it. Uh, I mean, this is it, it isn't hard, guys. You can do it. Don't be scared. It just takes time, lots of time, lots of patience. You got to stand on your head every once in a while to get to the the far back, like the cam sensors and those couple grounds on the back of the block and stuff. Those are not easy. You're gonna drop a bolt you're gonna cuss and you're not gonna be happy but you can do it I have faith in you I have faith in you so I want to keep working 
trying to get a few things cleaned up uh, off camera here, but that's the basics of putting in two iron harnesses in one evening. LS Swap OBS. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. If you just happened upon the channel by chance, hit subscribe. Give me a like. Drop a comment. Say hi. I appreciate it. But until next time, once I get all this buttoned up, I'll see you, and hopefully we'll be cranking this thing up soon. Thanks for stopping by. Max Boneyard Builds.